One of the things I do at Giza is study the markings on the pavement, which I think many of which were left to us by the fourth dynasty builders. I think there's some prophecies, some commentaries, some interesting information there. And this one leads me to believe that the architects of the Great Pyramid knew something about the pole shift that took place, probably with devastating consequences, and they built it into the Great Pyramid to tell us some things. So here's a mark on the right side of the screen, a picture of one of these markings that, that I study. Okay, so it's right there on the northwest side of the Great Pyramid. I call it 37 steps because it took, it took me 37 steps to get here. Okay, so that line right there, that's a plain crevice marking you know, on the Great Pyramid. So I marked that line that's on the photograph, I marked it onto the map of Giza there, and it's right there. It's that line right there. So that is the line formed by that that gash that, that's in the pavement, which I think is something worth studying. Could give many reasons for this. And I've hit pay dirt so often on studying these things. Go ahead, make fun of me, whatever. Okay, so I, I superimposed the, the diagram of the passages of the Great Pyramid. It's interesting to me that this line passes right through where uh, the trial passages pit is horizontally across from there. So that's just, that's maybe something for another time. All right, so there's the tomb of Hemiunu, the builder of the Great Pyramid, okay? So let's draw a line through the north part of his tomb. That goes right through the Hemiunu template that I've done many programs about. Okay, so that forms an angle of 23.5 degrees. That's the tilt angle of planet Earth. Okay, we draw a line through the south part of Hemiunu's tomb, which goes right through dead center of the Great Pyramid. Of course, that's going to be 23.5. And if we go through the south side of the Great Pyramid, it's going to give us an angle of 23.5 because that's the angle formed by the 37 steps line that I showed you. Just seems incredible to me. But there's more. Here's the largest tomb in the western field right there. And look, this line goes right through, you know, the northeast corner of that. And then over in the eastern field there, that's the tomb of Ankhaf, the other architect of the Great Pyramid besides Hemiunu. And look, it goes right through the southwest of his tomb. So, you know, that's two major tombs lined up by this line. One of them is the architect, Ankhaf. He did the harbors and some of the civil, you know, engineering that, that went with, with the Great Pyramid. And that's just incredible that this line is defined by that marking and by these monuments on the Giza Plateau. It seems meaningful to me. It seems like the Great Pyramid, which we know is a scale model of planet Earth, it seems to be telling us something about a pole shift that took place. And I think Giza is giving us warnings about catastrophes to come. That's one of the reasons I study these things. So, hey, stay with me.